Enid Pearson, and uh, I've lived in Palo Alto hmm, since 1952. And um, I got involved in Palo Alto politics because they wanted to uh, make Bryant and Waverly one-way streets so they could have uh, commercial all the way to Embarcadero Road. And I started going to city council meetings because I didn't think much of that idea and basically got hooked. And um, that was the council was 15 members and they were, um, had six year terms. And, uh, and then of course this was a very aggressive council and their new city manager was very aggressive and so they were developing like mad and one of the things they, they, ne they thought nothing of taking parks because the land was cheap, it was free. So if a park was there and they wanted to put something on it, they did. And so I got, that bothered me, and so uh, formed a committee called Parks, and we studied how other cities protected their parks. And we found out that there was general law that said you could dedicate a park. And uh, so we wrote the park dedication ordinance. It's a park dedication charter amendment. It was an initiative. And then at the same time, we ran a pet an initiative to reduce the council down to nine and then we reduced their terms down to four years. So those three initiatives were run at the same time. And I have to say, the citizens in Palo Alto were fired up. So these things did go on the ballot and they, uh, park dedication were passed by seven to one. That was a phenomenal vote. No other thing has, has had that kind of a vote uh, in this history of this city. After that, my role is to make sure that we got as many parks in Palo Alto as we could get. So every time there was a development, I said, okay, if you're going to develop, you have to give us a park. If there was a vacant piece of land, I said, it's going to be a park. And so I, I kept that up. And Arastadero Road, um, Arastadero was a huge 365 acres of land, and it was scheduled to be to develop with 1,500 houses of schools and shopping centers and all that stuff. And um, I said, well, I think it should be zoned open space. And so I went for that. I got it zoned open space. And the other thing that the council did at that point was to authorize a study called by Livingston and Blaney, Blaney and they were uh, planners and the idea was to determine whether or not it was better to have open space cheaper for the city to have open space or to have development and everybody was sure the answer would come out to be development well it's a landmark study it's still used and people point to it all the time and it came out with a conclusion that no developing land is not cheaper it's more expensive and so the best thing to do is to make this a park so that was kind of my history. Parks. <laughs> well, I'm Enid Pearson, and that's my Palo Alto story.